Hello again. I'm coming at you from a different angle today, which is quite exciting, depending on, you know, what your version of excitement is. But it's because I've got to use the hob, because today I'm making souffle. <laughs> Didn't spill the tea. <laughs> so, souffle. I don't, I've, I've never made one. Fortunately for this one, I have been given full list of ingredients and a full list of instructions because they are notorious very difficult things to make i'm not looking forward to this one i think this one could go horrifically wrong but it might not but it probably will but as i say yeah fortunately i've been given all of the information which is a really nice change from having none even though the other stuff was much more basic and simple than a souffle which is you know challenging to say the least at least if it goes wrong i know it's entirely my fault for not practicing the information that i've been given correctly we'll see it doesn't help that i don't i don't know what one is really i know it's air it's flavor there is it a cake i really don't know so for this challenge i've got 40 minutes and let's start now i mentioned previously that i have this really really bad habit of not reading recipes through before i just jump in so i'm not going to make the same mistake with this one because this is very specific so i am going to start by just just reading it and then weighing out all my ingredients first because I feel like it's one of those things where you really need to very quickly act so I can't just be like oh sorry I've just got to weigh out 25 grams of flour it'll just be there that's the plan so the first thing I'm going to do is just preheat the oven so I need to set it to 160 let's weigh our kitchen is like so good for aesthetics we just don't have enough workspace for six of us do you know what I mean where shall I weigh where shall I weigh here, sorry Melon Sue. I was just going to not mention the fact that I have Melon Sue here, but they deserve recognition. But I've owned this picture of Melon Sue since I was in my first year of university, just to be my house mascots more than anything, because they, they bring me joy and they bring me comfort. I'm not ashamed. They're being my Bake Off Technical Challenge mascots also, in the way that they can't on the show anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, no offence at Northfield Inn and Sandy Toxvig. Previously, I don't know who's replacing me these days. What am I talking about? Shut up. First, I'm gonna weigh. I don't have enough like bowls and things, and it's annoying because it's like the amounts that I need are quite small. So it's like this bowl for 25 grams of flour. Like, come on, it's dust. So the first thing that I need to do is cook the butter and flour. So I think it makes sense to weigh those first. So I need 25 grams of butter and 25 grams of plain flour. And then we also need 100 grams of sugar. Four eggs. My eggs don't need weighing because they're eggs, so they can stay there. 140 mils of milk. Now, I've got a very horrible feeling that I should be using whole milk, but I don't have whole milk. So we're using semi skimmed and we're hoping for the best because it's tough, isn't it? Zest in the juice of two large lemons. Do you zest the lemon first? Or do you juice the lemons first? I suppose zest. I think that makes more sense, doesn't it? So bad at zesting lemons. And then juice. We don't even need that much more. It's just tiny amount more space would be an absolute delight but I mean nothing I can do about it is there. Shane made um, like a salad dressing for himself the other day with some lemon in and honestly I've never seen so many pips in one lemon there was like 17 pips in one lemon it wasn't even a big lemon what does that mean? There's none in these. Oh, there's one. But one? 17. 
Where's the logic? Butter, flour, milk, eggs, lemon, lemon, sugar. Cool. So now let's dig into this. I need to stop chatting because I've only got half an hour left. What have I actually done? Absolutely nothing at all. So I need to cook the butter and the flour in the saucepan. I've no idea what Mary means by cook it together how long for until what stage. Do you know what I mean? We'll just have to guess. Let's chuck the butter in there. These have to cook for 14 minutes. I have 27 of those minutes left. So, what's 26 minus 14? I'm really bad at mental arithmetic. 26 minus 14 is 12. So I've got 12 minutes to do the rest of this. So I really, really do need to get a boogie on because I just get chatting, do you know what I mean? I just start talking. I'm not even saying anything that is anything. I'm literally, what am I saying now? Absolutely nothing. I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna chuck this flour in as well. Mix it together. I suppose we're trying to make a roux. Okay, add milk, beaten all the time until thick. I'm so messy, I'm such a spiller. I'll switch to a whisk, it's much better. That thickens so quickly. Beat in lemon juice and zest. Oh, I get so flustered. I'm such a panicker and I get really flappy. Okay, and then it says, take off the heat and stir in the sugar. I've never made or eaten a simple before. In my mind, you get them in fancy restaurants and they make them at food festivals and that's it. There is, there is no other version of of these things. I've never eaten one. I don't, like, I know what they're supposed to look like and that's it. I know absolutely nothing else. Separate eggs. I use this because they're going to be whisked in this. So I need to separate four eggs. I'm all right at separating eggs generally. Here's where I'm not. Like, today is the day where I won't be good at this. whites remind me of remember them aliens that you used to get as a kid and like you'd like put them back to back and you'd be like mm, if i put my aliens back to back in this tub and then put them in the fridge overnight then they'll have the baby aliens we all knew that was never going to happen but we were all convinced that that we were going to be the ones that where it actually happened add in the egg yolks whisking all the time And then whisk the egg whites until they're soft peaks. So I can do that. Easy because I don't have to do it. Oh, it's not plugged in. Oh my god. I've got a time limit and I can't find the bloody plug. Anyone know what soft peaks look like? I can't remember because my mind's gone blank because I am stressed. So it says fold into the lemon mixture. So oh, oh my god! Honestly, I'm not in the mood today. That couldn't be more my life if I tried. How on earth do I get that in the bowl, in the pan? Oh, Jesus, should I just use my hands? They're clean. Oh my God. Oh, come on. What is wrong with me? I mean, it's only me eating it and I literally cleaned the hob like five seconds before I switched the camera on. This is appalling. Do not send food hygiene standards agency my way, please. I mean, it's it's not for general consumption anyway, it's for my consumption. So that's the only good thing about the fact that I've literally just dropped it anywhere. I should have moved this into a different bowl. I'm panicking, can you tell? I can. Jesus, right, no, right, change of plan. I'm using a bowl. 
at least I can say that this truly is a learning experience for me. We've, we're on a journey together and I really I appreciate that I'm not doing this on my own, even though physically in the moment I am. It almost makes me feel like I'm less insane because I'm talking to a camera, which doesn't make any sense in, in the logic of sanity, but hey, here we are, eh? Oh, you know what I should have done? The eggs were already in a bowl. I, I, should, have, I, should, have, I should have put the mixture into my bowl. This is the point of this though, isn't it? It's to see how people respond under pressure. And I can tell you that with me, generally the answer is not good. One of the things that's been stopping me from going on the actual Bake Off is um, the fact that I know that I would cry all the time. I've just got to get this folded so it's all like one nice even texture. But the thing is, when you fold stuff you need to be gentle otherwise the whole point of folding it is because you put air into it. If you're too like fast with it you'll just knock all the air out and uh, souffles need air because that's what I think that they might be. If it's lumpy, that means that there's bits of egg white that aren't mixed in properly, so they're gonna cook essentially as an egg white omelet in the oven, and I really don't want that. I don't know if I'm supposed to grease my ramekins or not. I suppose it doesn't really matter because you're eating it with a spoon. I'm not gonna grease them. This one is intense because I've literally never, I've never even seen a real life souffle. So this one is big for me. I, I don't, I, I can't fold this for much longer because I just don't have time, so I, I think I'm just going to have to just stop, just pour it in. Yeah, because I've got 15 minutes and they take 14 to cook, so, okay, right, so, so, okay, <laughs> why am I just, what am I doing? I'm just saying the word okay. I'm going to put my ramekins in here. I'll use a measuring spoon. Fill to the top. This is a lot of mixture for the size ramekins I have, which I have to say were kindly donated by my workplace. And by which I mean, I went in and took them because no one's going to be eating garlic aioli out from this year. I suppose if I film them right the way to the top, like, because there is a little bit of a gap, so I'm just going to try and use as much of this mixture as I can. Okay, right, fill to the top, done. We're putting them in, we're putting them in the oven. Oh Christ, the oven tray's really high, so I need to move it first. Oh my God. What? I need to check things. And now we're putting them in the oven. Godspeed. Oh, oh my God. This, this is just too much for me. I have like 14 minutes and seconds left. I can't, I can't even, I actually don't think I can look at this one. I'm just gonna have to wait until the timer goes off. I'm too scared. I just, I'm without hope. So I'm just gonna stand here for the next 14 minutes and not even slightly look at that oven. Oh, my tea's really cold. That was like genuinely some of the most stressful minutes that I've had in a long time. It's actually quite nice to feel something because right now I'm mostly just existing. There's five minutes left. I've actually not looked at them. I can't. I'm so worried. I'm so scared. I don't know why I'm so scared. It literally doesn't matter. This is the most technically challenging thing I've ever tried to make and I wouldn't normally try and make something like this in a pressured situation. I would do it in secret um, in my own time and then, and then if it went wrong no one would ever see it. God knows what this is going to look like. I did make puff pastry once. That was quite hard. But even that was much easier than this. I feel really stressed. This is horrible. I hate waiting.
you know? Like souffles as as like as a whole are quite a quite a fast paced item, I believe. Because I think that the timing on them, like the timing of making them is very specific. And then the timing of cooking them is very specific. But then also the timing of eating them is just as specific or like really quick because otherwise they will just sink regardless if they haven't sunk in the cooking process but at least i have four so hopefully at least one of them will be good but honestly god knows god knows what i'm about to get out of this oven seconds left. This is the most stressful thing that I've done in a long time. This is it. Pray for me. I'll be praying for myself. I do, I really don't want to look. Oh, okay. Sure. I mean, relatively pleasantly surprised actually they don't have that straight edge look that you often see on a souffle but have i did i have i did i was this me and there's me there's me 40 minutes oh my god did i do that i'm amazed i'm at, i'm in genuine shock and as i say don't you like these two are stuck together and <laughs> one of them's like gone a bit crazy and spilled out but they're certainly not sunk I might cry I'm, I'm in shock I need to eat one I need to eat one that's the whole point is that's the whole point you have to eat them quick oh my god <laughs> I actually really can't believe that they've risen and as I say they haven't risen in that way that That you see on the photographs, but <laughs> the thing is, I'm gonna eat this. I have no idea if it's good or not because I've never eaten one, I've never made one, I don't know what they look like. I'm just gonna see if it tastes nice. <laughs> I really am. I need, to, I need to shut up. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm very overwhelmed right now. I'm, bring, I'm gonna bring you over here. Anyone can tell me how on earth I've done this. Please, please enlighten me because I really am so shocked. Okay, I'm gonna eat this one. I think it looks all right. As if, as if I've done this. I'm gonna eat it. I keep saying that. absolutely no idea if I've made a good souffle or not, but I think it, I think it is good. Mate. I'm blown, I've blown myself away. I'm so rarely impressed with myself, but I, I honestly am speechless. I don't need to make any more videos. This is it. This is the end. It's not. I absolutely guarantee I'm going to have to make much harder things than this at some point, but for now. Bye.